I'm James Trott, and I lead the software team for containers, clusters, and cloud compute in CSE. And I'm Anthony Turner, and I am a senior software engineer working on the CSE team. The first time we did SyncWeek here at WAMU, we'd never been here before, we'd never put into this environment. The WAMU is just a giant concrete box with a metal ceiling, and we're right next to a marine port. They use marine radar to bring the ships in, so it's kind of a complex environment. And then we put 700 plus Microsoft users who are much heavier network users than the average person into this environment, and we still want them to have high quality Wi-Fi and to be able to do their work and complete their hacks. There's a lot of users that have to be on at the same time. Uh, there's a lot of different devices out there. There's cell phones, laptops, desktops, IoT devices, and all of those things behave just a little bit differently on wireless or wired internets. And so you kind of have to take all that into account when you're designing a network like this, just to make sure that all those devices are able to communicate well. Our team reached out to a bunch of different network consultants to try and do this event. A lot of the network consultants said it couldn't be done and weren't prepared to engage with the work. So John Shuchuk and his team reached out to us because we have a background in networking and asked us to put something together. So the most important aspect in the whole building is this yellow piece of fiber cable just here. This is a 10 gigabit uplink straight out to the internet. And then we have these portable boxes here that we designed and built at Microsoft. It's a rolling travel case. So we mount everything in here. And on the back is a custom cooling system that we then fit and wire in. Uh, and then they have a couple of sensors that run out of them. We monitor the temperature inside the cases and we cool the equipment inside a case because it wasn't actually designed for networking equipment. It's designed for a lower throughput. And then these two aqua reels of cable just here. These roll out uh, all of the internet to the left and right side of the auditorium. So everything comes through this box, and this is the box that watches everybody's traffic. We use the, uh, the Unify products uh, from Ubiquiti Networking, and we put in somewhere around 60 switches. We put in 20 access points and about two miles of copper cable. These ones are special. These are SHD access points. These actually have two radios inside them, one that provides a wireless network and one that monitors the radio frequency environment in the room and is constantly monitoring the radio spectrum for this room. And all of the access points you can see over here around the edge up on stands are balanced using the signals from these four that tell us what the radio environment is like. So the room is constantly balanced for the optimum wireless configuration. We're hacking on cutting edge technology a lot of the time, and so some of these devices haven't been seen before or have features that you know aren't really out there in the market. And so they come here and they connect them to our network and then those devices behave in unexpected ways. So we're constantly trying to make this a safe environment for a bunch of Microsoft hackers to come and do their best work whilst not allowing anything malicious or any kind of security breach to happen. So a lot of people had kind of the same comment, uh, that they've been to a lot of different developer conferences, and that routinely the takeaway that everyone has is that the internet connection is always terrible, and that that's kind of a given. And it was a unique experience for them to come to this particular event and actually have the internet be stable and useful for them to accomplish what they needed. The last time we had a little bit of a shaky first day, um, but this time around we had an absolutely stellar first day. Everybody was really, really happy. I think that is an awesome takeaway from last year that we were able to make it work that much better. We've really effectively applied a lot of what we, uh, what we did wrong last year to do it right this year. And that's how we do Wi-Fi for 750 people, a thousand devices for five days in less than 24 hours.